My people, my people, we don't come again no, with another news. This one will shock you. It's coming from one Yoruba man. He, he actually reviewed why they don't want to go to court. Peter Obi is trying to disgrace Tunubu because he said Tunubu lawyers, they, they are saying, what are they going to do concerning this particular matter? It's a video you will hear from him. And uh, I don't want it to be taken against him because it's actually a viral video that a man said truth of his life. Okay? Please subscribe to this channel if you're just getting a video for the first time. Let's hear him out. And then um, I'll come back with my analysis. You see, it was never the intention of the ruling party, APC, to have Tunubu as their presidential candidate. That was why the chairman announced the Senate President, Ahmed Lawa, as the consensus candidate before Tinubu protested and said that will bring an end to APC if Lawa is allowed to be the consensus candidate without the party going for primaries. They now went for primaries. Financial power helped Tinubu to clinch victory. The presidency and APC leadership knew that the drug case of Tinubu is something nobody can defend. They also knew that the man is a dual citizen, that he is holding the diplomatic passport of Guinea Kanakri. The APC leadership knew about it. The presidency knew about it. What they never actually expected was that this candidate, with all his contact, with all his influence, with all his financial muscle, will not be able to win 25% of APCD. They never knew APC can perform so low to that extent. Even with all the rigging, even with all the manipulation by INEC chairman, yet they could not get 25% of our budget. It was too disturbing. As it stands now, they have consulted widely. They have been putting pressure. Nutinuku is highly connected. He has spread his tentacle everywhere, both in the military, judiciary, everywhere. Tinubu is highly connected. There are people working for him everywhere. He knows how to bulldoze his work. But they are having a very bad case. A very bad case. It will be legal team. It will be his idea. It's too difficult for APC and the presidency to handle. With all the manipulation going on, they are still finding it difficult to handle P2B moves. With all the allegation, with all the cheap blackmail, things are not adding up for Tinubu and the APC. What they are now trying to do is to put pressure on P2B to withdraw the case. But it is not working out. Consequently, any move to see how the tribunal can make pronouncement before May 29, APC is resisting it. Tinubu is walking around the clock. That was why in spite of his health condition, he left the hospital and returned to Nigeria to make sure the tribunal will not make any pronouncement before May 29. Tinubu is lowering in anger. Swim me in first. But they are telling him 25% of Web City, there is nothing any judge can do, no technical ground can be used to boycott that provision. There is nothing we can do because the Supreme Court had in the past made a pronouncement. They have interpreted that provision that is conjunctive. That is to say, you must have 24 states and 25% in 24 states and you must also have 25% in FCT. You cannot alter that pro pronouncement. 
There is no other interpretation that can be given to it. The judiciary, unofficially, had made that known to Tunibu and the president to the APC. That is why he left hospital bed <laughs> with syringe in his hand. He came back to continue the rigging. You understand? The vote, uh, yeah, this one is judiciary buying. He will buy the whole lawyers. He will buy all of them. But I don't know what the technical language they will use, you know, to quash whatever they want to quash. Even what you're seeing on your screen is evidence that made 500 Nigerian army from Igbo extraction to resign. They say this rigging can never be done in their very eyes. This is a military, I mean, election that took place in the barracks. All the whole Nigerian barracks. You know, when they were voting between Pito B, Atiku and uh, Jagaban. You find out that Pito B flooded the whole of this state. The whole of the state. In military. The army, they want to, they want a new Nigeria, <laughs> where at least their salary will be paid in good faith, where at least uh, the terrorists will be removed among them. Yes, they actually wanted that, but they are disappointed that nothing worked for them. It did not work at all. The rigging was done in broad daylight and casually done. But... Thank God this one, this military resort, no, nobody can go there to talk about a, you know, buying votes or grabbing of ballot box or burning of ballot box or telling nobody to come and vote and all that. So this was a clinical voting done clearly without rigging. You can see no mistake, no cancellation, no tipex, nothing of us. Or of of that sort. Now, tell me if ordinarily P2B came out with this evidence, ordinarily this one, are you saying they will not give it to him? They will surely give it to him because Tinubu did not win in any state. If he lose in Lagos State, that will speak volume to you. I don't know where we have put our conscience. Are you supporting Tinubu because you're a Yoruba person? Are you insane? Like, where is your conscience? Didn't you see how the elections were rigged? Beyond repair. I mean, shamelessly rigged. You say you love Nigeria and you want Nigeria to continue. And you are driving it to, to, to go gaga. You know, Nigeria will go gaga when if Peter B did not regain his mandate. You think it's Igbo thing. It will not be Igbo fight again. It will now be general fight of the youth. Youth will say no, this is not their mandate. And I don't know what you will tell them then. Eh? Just share this video for me. Make it go viral. This man, God will bless you. They have terrible case. They don't even know how to start. Very bad case indeed.